stressed. That's it. I'm stressed. Welcome back. I do not look camera ready in the slightest bit right now, but that is okay because it is 7.30 in the morning. I obviously am in my car and I'm actually driving to Rochester this morning because I have my medical exam for the cruise ship. So there's a specific medical exam that I need to be like cleared for work, if you will. So the closest approved facility is in Rochester, which is about an hour-ish away. And luckily they were able to get me in within like a few days. So I'm heading there now. I'm already starving because I've said it many times, but I literally wake up and I'm hungry and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. The second I open my eyes, I'm ready to eat something. And I had to fast for this exam, so I haven't eaten since like maybe nine o'clock last night, which is a long time for me. <laughs> I also wasn't allowed to have coffee or any sort of caffeine. I'm only allowed to drink water until after this exam is done, so your girl is struggling a little bit. I'm more so hungry than I am tired. I had a good night of sleep last night, but I did wake up at 6.30, so you know, I'm not looking as fresh as I would if I woke up a little bit later. Not gonna lie to you, I am a bit stressed about everything. I'm just feeling slightly, not overwhelmed, I'm just like stressed. That's it, I'm stressed. I'm not worried about this exam, I'm more stressed about how long it'll take for me to get the certificate because you have to submit it within two weeks of sign-on date. And then another thing I'm worried about is that I have to get a PCR test, which is not a problem. Like, I'm not worried about that. I'm more so concerned with the turnaround time because we have to get it within 72 hours of the time that our flight leaves. So that only gives me three days to get the results and submit them. And that is stressful because the PCR test could take up to a week to get in. So, I mean, that's out of my control. I can only do so much. And that's not for a few more weeks, but there's just a little, lots of little things adding up that are like stressing me out. And I am the biggest overthinker when it comes to stuff like this because I want it so badly that I don't want to jeopardize it in any way. Because I'm an overthinker, I left extremely early this morning, earlier than I needed to. I left my house at like 7.20. My appointment's not till 9.15 and it's only an hour away. So I should be getting there by 8.30 p.m. I mean a.m., oh my gosh. So I'm gonna drive there and then I will bring you guys along with me. calling Anderson Kelly. This is Melissa. How may I help you? So they should have drawn your blood. Yep. Perfect. They should have checked your vision. At the top of the form, you should see it. It would start with the letter Z. Z for... You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. <phone rings> Me and my girl Melissa are getting real close. <laughs> We're spending a lot of time on the phone together. But I am out of my exam now. It was a process. It's now 11 o'clock on the dot. I'm starving and they took so much blood guys they took like four tubes of blood and honestly I feel okay I'm not like lightheaded or anything but I fasted so I have no food in my system so now I'm gonna drink this and I peeped a Starbucks on my way here I look like a disaster let's go to Starbucks I'm here but the way to get into the drive-thru is so odd so I'm like in the middle of the parking lot. And there's like a whole line behind me too. Welcome to Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hi, can I have an iced dopio with almond milk 
And can I have vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top? And can I have that in a venti cup, please? Sure, anything else? And can I also have the spinach egg white feta wrap? Okay, thank, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much, you too. Cheers, guys. We got the medical out of the way, just waiting for my results. But other than that, I've been cleared to work. So um, that's worth celebrating. Another day means, you know, more errands to run, more things to do to prep us for departure date. Today I want to head to Target because I actually have a few things that I need to get and buy a few things I mean a lot. I don't know whether or not we're going to get shore leave or if we'll even be in a port where I can buy makeup throughout my contract and obviously I need makeup for all of the shows. So I want to go to Target and just stock up on a bunch of things. I would rather be over prepared than under prepared so we're going to take a little trip to Target and probably leave with more than what I was expecting to go for. <laughs> So I wrote out a little list because I actually wanted some recommendations on Instagram for different products to try out so I just wrote a few of those down and I'm gonna bring this with me to Target. I want to go to my contract but I don't want to leave you. The second I pull out the suitcases that's when she knows. I need to make sure I'm focused because then I'll start buying things I don't need. was quite successful there is a few things I still need to get makeup wise and then I have to get like all my toiletries still but for the most part I was quite successful and of course I spent more money than I intended on spending but you know what we're just we're going with it first two things are super random I mean they're not random but they're they don't have anything to do with makeup I got some almond milk because we're all out. I treated myself to an ice because I love these things and I haven't had one in forever. So I was like, you know what? Treat yourself. It's only 99 cents. I did actually go to Target like last week and I got these two shirts, but I just wanted to include them in this haul. So I got this really beautiful like pastel yellow tank top. It's literally just a basic tank top. Um, it is full length, but I just love the color and it was only like $5, so I felt like this was a good basic to have. And then I got another workout top as if I need more, but this one was only $6 on clearance. So it just looks like this. I mean, come on, isn't this so cool? I feel like I've never seen anything like that. So it has like the sports bra underneath and I really like mustard yellow, so... I got that, but moving on. I finally got a magic eraser. This isn't the exact brand, but it's the same thing. I've been wanting to buy one of these forever and I figured now would be a good time because it's reusable and it's so much better for the environment. So I got just like a little aqua blue color. I know I said I ditched this product months ago, which I did, but I've been having some like acne issues as of late and I don't know why so I did just get a little bottle of witch hazel because this worked wonders for my acne in the past I know it's not the best for your skin but I'm gonna use it sparingly and hopefully it helps me out a little bit I got a set of two beauty blenders this is the bio blender by eco tools and this is 100% biodegradable I can literally plant these when I'm done using them and I can plant the box we love that. I got two products from Makeup Revolution. So first is just this absolutely stunning highlighter. Uh, this is the shade Just My Type. And then I also got a bronzer from Makeup Revolution. So this is just the Mega Bronzer. I was just intrigued by the size of 
this panel. I mean, I've never seen a bronzer that is this large, so I'm very excited to try this. I just got this in the shade Cool. I got one lip product. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Kisses. It's like a raspberry color. I got the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Golden Beige 104. I got three e.l.f. products. You guys know I love e.l.f. I got the Poreless Putty Primer. Some people recommended this. I've never tried it. I got the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen in Jet Black. And then I also wanted to try out this eyebrow product. So this is just the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Taupe. Just kidding, I got five e.l.f. products. So um, the last two things are just the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I got two of them because these are my favorite concealers ever. And I got the shade Light Beige. And then for my final two things I got, I just got this little organizer for like bobby pins, hair ties, stuff like that. And then I also got a pack of razors. So that is everything I got from Target. Pretty big haul. Most of these products are things I've never tried out, so uh, fingers crossed that they work well for me so I don't have to go and return them. Hello everyone, I've got some new shades on. I don't know if they suit me or if I just look stupid, but either way, happy Friday. Today is Friday, April 2nd. You're probably wondering, what are we doing today? Well, let me tell you. We are gonna go to Five Below because I'm in search of some cute room decor things for my new cabin. Obviously, I'm not gonna bring a lot and I don't wanna bring things that are very big because I have to put them in my suitcase and I have limited space as it is. But I really like to make my cabin feel like home and just cozy and make it really feel like my place or mine and whoever I'm sharing it with. So I like to decorate and I did go to Target a couple times and try to look in the dollar section but there really wasn't anything there. So I thought Five Below would be my next best bet. There she is in all her glory. That location is smaller than the one I usually go to. It's like half the size, but they literally were empty. Like everything was off the shelves, but I did get a few things. So totally unrelated to room decor, I did get just this set of little hair clips. I don't know. They might not even be any good, but I like that they have different sizes and they were $2. And then I also got a little toothbrush holder because I lost my other one. Don't know where it is. And then I did get two little room decor things and I think they go well together. So the first is just this little wooden block calendar. I don't know, I think it's cute, simple. It was like, I think $4. And then the other thing I got was just this little felt letter board. It's pink, you know me. Thought it was really cute and it's really lightweight so it will be easy to pack. I mean, I can use it when I come home too because it matches my room. That's all I got from Five Below. Sadly, it was a little bit disappointing, but what can you do? It is an entirely different day, but I just wanted to end the vlog here just because I feel like it was long enough and there's seriously so much more still left to do until I leave. So we will save that for another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on some of my errands and I'm getting so, so, so excited. I cannot believe how fast it's happening. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying coming along with me every step of the way and kind of seeing everything that really goes into signing on board because clearly I'm not there yet and there's a lot of things that I have to get done before I leave. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe because there's a lot more fun videos coming soon and I will just see you in my next one. Bye guys.